Hey, what is good, everybody? I got another Silent Line historic build for you guys today, man. We got the rank two himself. We got zero in his AC scrap pile, son. Look at this thing. I don't know why the hell it's near scrap pile. This thing looks mean as hell. I freaking love it. I love the weapons, of course. You look at that Gatling gun on there. It was some freaking hurting on people, but yeah, that build's actually strong as hell, dude. I actually used this in the Operation Old Gen 3v3 tournament. And, you know, uh, Gatling Gun and freaking Harris are pretty solid combo. Pretty similar to the Gatling Gun and Pistol on my Silver Knight, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, that freaking, the build's dope. I can't wait to show you guys how freaking nasty it is. The paint job came out awesome. I may or may not have, you know, done some of my own camouflage here on top of the normal pattern. Just because the normal pattern, you know, had a little too much purple in there. But I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, right? That way I can just show you guys freaking how disgusting this build is, bro. Let's get into this PP action Gatling Gun Ski. Let's go! Oh, nice gold build, dreadlock, that freaking explosive thrower, bro. What's that in the back? Is that an iridium he has on his right side too? We're gonna have a nice iridium battle. A little freaking pocket grenade launcher, bro. Let's do it. I had to freaking stop and think for a second. Like, yes, yeah, grenade launcher. <laughs> I'm just used to the way they work in the old games. You know what I mean? All right, let's do this. Freaking see what we can make happen here. Nice freaking red box area. Okay, explosive thrower came out early and he hit me with it. All right, we're not going to get him over there. He's freaking spinning well. Okay, yep. Chop for that radium. All right. Hold one of these. I got one, too. All right. I whiffed, though. He did his better towards the ground. It was smart. <laughs> All right. Chop for that explosive throw. We're going to reload the Harris here so we can get ready for a big old punish. But I think he might stun me for... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We got him clean. Pink. Oh, he didn't get that off in time. It took too long. It's all right. We'll pop Oz now. I'll push that pressure into him. So if he tries running, we're going to start that assault boost right away. Don't let him get away. Go for a charge. Harris over here. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Hold that. Oh, we didn't hit him. All right. Bad news. Iridium? Yeah, I'll trade you. I'll trade you. Mine for yours, son. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Iridium battle. I love it. That's freaking sick. That made me smile. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll pop an Iridium off from the beginning. Trying to let him know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll both trade Iridiums. We'll see what happens. He'll jump in there. Hold this! Uh, clean, got him with it. Not bad. Yeah, I think he's getting exposed to already. We'll stun up nice and early. Kick, punish. Bank, clean. Stay on top of him. Push that damage in, bro. Look at that damage! Holy Iridium! Point blank got that damage in in time, too, before the shield came out. Not bad. All right, about to get stunned. Pop this. Yep, before he freaking pun punishes me. Rip through that shield and just gun him down. Holy crap, bro. Yo, Scrap Pile is a strong build. Super strong build. Wait, did he have Gatling Gun too? I thought he had a machine gun. Yo, good fight, brother. Dope builds. All right, what are we working with here? I see the shield. Okay, 66 LR. Nice little buff ski on that. He's paired with the LRA too. And I don't know what missiles those are on the other side. Is that the, the four freaking slot missiles you start with? If that's the case, that's interesting. So that's going to be short cooldown for sure. All right, bro. I like the build. Let's see what we can make happen here. Nice Gatling Gun action, boy. I'm in my element. Come here, son. Chase him down. Put that freaking pressure into him. Keep chasing him. There you go. Get that stun. Ah, nice kick ski follow up. Iridium. Bank. Hell yeah. Nice follow up damage. Rock the punish. Not bad. I took some solid damage, though. I, I just noticed. He, he kind of hurt me a lot. <laughs> Gotta be careful here. All right, go ahead. Piece him up. I think he might have overheated his freaking stuff. Don't want to overheat my uh, Gatling gun. Get that stun on. There you go. Gun him down. Clean. I'm surprised an expansion didn't come out. I'm super surprised an expansion didn't come out. But, hey, you know, we take those. It was a, it was a good match. <laughs> I just got to win one more time, though. But he might readjust here and just freaking put me down. So we'll see what happens. I do want to just fly in again because I don't want to slowly approach from the outside and get pieced up by these lasers. Jump for the missiles. It does look like the fourth slot. All right, he's shooting a lot. We should probably go in now while he try and waits for him to cool down a little bit. That's right. He has shield. He didn't use it last time at all. At least I don't think he did. Stay on top of him. Stun him up here. Here you go. Punish. Bank. There you go. Clean. Not bad. Get that freaking rifle back out. Oh, we're putting out huge damage on him right now. The DPS on this build is actually pretty damn solid. Ready him? Oh, we didn't get in time. It's all right. We got his shield, though. We had down that shield a little bit. Let's probably reload the uh, the Harris. These dodges, boy. I got them skips, homie. Here, gun him down. Gun him down. Gun him down. There you go. Clean. We got him. Yeah. Here we go. Scrap pile. Zero putting in work, son. Ah, I just love me some Gatling. Yo, good fight, brother. I like that build you run. That one's actually pretty cool. GG. All right, got another match against this freaking Black Rabbit homie over here. Got that Sampu Etzigen Gatling gun combo with the laser slicer, bro. The build actually has a pretty deceptive amount of ACS strength. <laughs> 
First time we fought was a close match. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording. I wasn't. So, freaking, I didn't get to, you know, I didn't get to record his beastly freaking victory over me here because of that. Which sucked because it was a really close match. It was pretty dope. So, hopefully we can get another really cool match here, win or lose. But, yeah, man, this freaking... <laughs> The build doesn't feel like it puts out a whole lot of ACS strain, right? His build, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're just suddenly about to get stunned. It, it's kind of surprising. I like it, though. I like it. It's, it's pretty dope. All right, so we got some solid freaking ACS build up on him. Keep dodging around here. As long as you hit him with some stuff, keep his stuff from falling off. That Harris back off cooldown. Stun him here. Yep. Radiant punish. Clean. Not bad. Go for a kick, maybe. Ah, all right, whiffed it. Pop this. Get the hell out. All right, I do know he has pulse armor instead of assault, which is freaking great for me, right? Push these bullets into him. Look at that damage, bro. Radium. Bink. Hell yeah. Get that damage in there ahead of time. Pop up. Jump over his dome piece. Try and buy myself some time here. Now he's going to get the stun. He'll still win. He'll still win if I get stunned. All right. We got him. We got him down that time. <laughs> Had he got the stun, that would have lost for sure. That freaking laser slice hurts like hell, bro. Freaking ridiculous. All right. So let's see if we can uh, recreate that freaking victory there, those victory conditions. Hopefully do a little bit cleaner. You know what I mean? It's a little too close for comfort there. <laughs> but we'll have to see what happens. All right. Hold this little freaking linear rifle real quick. Hold on. Try and pepper him up. I'm too far away. I'm too far away. This is set up for close range battle. All right. Whip the iridium. Fail. Yeah, he's getting some solid freaking pressure off already. Jump to the sky. Yep. Yeah, we're getting pressure off on you too, homie. I'm about to reload the Harris. I should have reloaded ahead of time. I re-engaged. That's right. We got it back up. Oh, nice. Double stun. Huge in my favor. Take this kick. All right. Good dodge. He didn't want to get hit by a freaking smelly knee feet, man. Radium? Nope. Nothing. All right. Playing dangerous game here. Drop down this Huxley before it overheats. All right. Dash around. Ski. Kick him, maybe. Nope. All right. We're about to get stunned. Pop this now. Quick before he gets any damage. Oh, he's got dagger this time instead of... uh. No, he had dagger before. I was mistaken. Why did I think he had laser slicer? Yeah, he definitely had dagger before, because I remember seeing him do that. Just remind me that he was trying to fish me off before, like, style on me. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to die here. I think he's got this round. But it got close like this last time, and I almost made it come back. But nah, the freaking Gatlin gun, dude. Damn, I got gunned down like a dog. <laughs> All right, bro. Let me see if I can clutch this out, dude. He's, he's good. He's good, and the build is pretty dope. I like it. It's not, I don't know, it's a weapon combination you would think wouldn't perform that well. It, it actually is pretty nice. It's not It's not super bursty. It can be, but it kind of just wears you down. All right, we're going to go on for a kick right off the rip. Oh, yeah. Big reverse joint thing, son. Shouldn't even land at that, I don't think. All right, he pops that right away. Yeah, we got a huge chunk of damage on him off that interaction. Dude, that was tight. All right. About to pop this now before Dag comes in. You ain't getting no Dag hits on me. Oh, the Iridium freaking shoots over his shoulder, bro. No. We get nothing off of that. There's a perfect opportunity to punch freaking damage into him. Now right, we're getting to the air before we get stunned here. Reload this Harris. Iridium from up top. Yeah, hit him. All right, no. Nope. He got me. He got me. It's a wrap. Kick. Yep, finish. Oh, I thought I got out in time. No. <laughs> Damn. A good fight, brother. Damn it, man. That was close. I thought I could win that one. Oh. Ooh, colorful, bro. Okay. Harris. I'm assuming that is Nebula. And then Basho Arms. Huh? Probably for the defenses. Hmm. He kind of lightweight with them land legs, but that... I don't know. The Basho Arms and that Mind Alpha. Cool. He might actually be a little bit more tanky than he looks. All right, bro. I'm kind of excited for this. See what you got, homie. Try and scope him out first, see what, he, see what he's doing. All right, this is a Nebula for sure. See if we can get him to pop that. There you go. Hit that wall, son. He's too far away. I was hoping maybe he'd come in. All right, so he's playing cautious. It's Nebula again. All right. Oh, no, I have the wrong thing out. Oh, we got him, though. Happy accidents, boys. That's what we're talking about right here. Stun him up. Stun him up. Hell yeah. Just gun him down. Yep. Nice. Solid damage. Hold this Iridium. Okay, nice dodge. All right, I should reload the Harris. It's a bad hit. All right, let it freaking Gatlin gun cool down. Let's reload the Harris. Go in there for the kill, son. Put that pressure on him. Okay, solid. Reload the Harris again. Radium, mink. Oh, yeah, on the ground. Eat that AOE, son. Oh, what happened? This man freaking crab crawling around. <laughs> this man doing a little crab walk. Look, like, yeah. Check out these four legs better than your two legs. Screw your backwards facing knees, son. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll go for a nice charge shot right off the rip. Try and build up stag and I sort of try and catch him in animation. 
Ah, oh, nope, that didn't work because he's on freaking touch pod. Oh, nice. The iridium gets him, though. Not bad. All right. Let that Huxley cool down. Get ready for a punish. Iridium. Ah, oh, it wasn't back up yet. All right. We ripped through his shield, though, at least a little bit. He's got that freaking hammer ski. Stand on top of him. Don't let him get away. Punch them shots into him. Reloading. Let the freaking gallon uncool today. He went for a charge versus man. Try style on me. Hold all that real quick. Kick ski. Yeah. <laughs> Scrap pile. Gatling gun. Gameplay, son. Get right in his face. Holy. <laughs> Yo, GG, brother. I kind of like the way his build is set up, dude. The look. It definitely looks freaking interesting for sure. But also the weapon choice is pretty solid as well. GG, my friend. Oh yeah, we got Destroyer over here with the unimpressed courage freaking emblem. <laughs> hey, cool decals on the legs too. I like that. The freaking, I didn't get to see what the word said, but I like the way that's positioned on the legs. Pretty freaking dope. So he's got Etzogen and that's all I remember him having. So, no, he got Wooger. He got Wooger and, and Etzogen. No, Wooger and Sampu. All right, I think I figured it out now. I don't know what's on the back though. That's the best I got for the front. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got here. Radium. Hold that. Ah, uh, we didn't get him with any AoE. I was hoping. Obviously, I knew I wasn't fully locked on, but I was hoping we can get him with some AoE. Get these freaking hops and skips around. Nice and evasive. Chase after him. This Gatling gun cool down a little bit. Reload that Huxley. Uh, reload the Harris and then cool down the Huxley as well. All right, he's up there. We're going in. Pushing these shots into him. Salt boost. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. About to get a stun on. We overheat the freaking... The, uh, what's it called? Unfortunately. Huxley. All right, don't let that fall off. Don't let all of it fall off. There you go. Save some of it, at least. At least some of it. We overheat the Gatling gun. That's bad. All right, radium. Yeah, we hit him, but he gets a stun first. Gets a nice streaking. Oh, he's got punches. Got punch combos. Assault armor. No, I should have figured. Damn, bro. All right, all right. I know what he's working with now. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know what to look out for. Freaking punch combo, huh? Okay. All right, that's fine. I'll be on the lookout for it. I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. I wouldn't have uh, Pulse Armor there either. <laughs> All right, so if we're about to get stunned, we got to jump straight into the sky. We'll play a little more aggressive this time on him, for sure. I already used my scan. It's a bad habit. I keep wasting my scan. All right, going in. Chasing him down. There you go. Hold off on everything. All right, he punched me. That's fine. Undaunted. Stay on top of him. Stay on top of him. Push these shots into him, son. Yeah, he's hanging back down. Got a little bit of elevator action going on. Freaking got to reload this Harris with the Gatling gun cool down a little bit. There you go. Put them shots into him. Them shots into him. Jump to the air before we get stunned. I overheat the Gatling gun like a scrub. Now, hell no, son. You ain't getting me with that. Nope. I purposely waited to freaking prop that in the air so I could avoid that. There you go. Hit him with it. Clean. Stun him up. Stun him up. Stun him up. He's going to fly right back up. No. Stun him. There you go. Radium. Bink. Big damage. Not bad. I'm just going to try and wear him down now. I'm going to be smart about this. Hopefully, we don't get stunned anytime soon. All right. Get into the sky before we get stunned. Before we get stunned. Radium before I get stunned. Oh, yeah. Double stun. I'll take it. Oh, he whiffs the freaking punch, too. Not bad. That was dope. All right. Now we can just run him down. As long as we avoid a kick. Yep. Got him. Oh, boy. Heart style pound at the end there, bro. I'm like, this Iridium needs to land or it's a wrap for me. <laughs> I kind of figured. Obviously, Iridium doesn't put out a whole lot of ACS strain, but I'm like, at the level he's at, it should stun him. You know what I mean? That worked out pretty good. All right. Let's go to freaking round three here. Boy, this one's fun. I wasted my, uh, my scan again. So I don't know where this man is. He could be hiding, trying to get the jump on me. Where you at, bro? Oh, he went that way. Okay, trying to come from behind. I see you. Going in. Watch out for the missiles. We'll stop low because I figure like he's going to drop down. You know what I mean? All right. All right he, here he goes. He's on the way down now. There you go. Damn, he puts out a lot of freaking... Is that the Sampu doing that? It's got to be. Sam Sampu's got to be the reason that freaking he's putting out so much ACS strain. All right, guess the kick. Yeah, I'm about to get stunned. Yep, pop this. Dip set. Yeah, we're far enough away. Nice, 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 nice. Now we can get a stun here and get big damage on him. Maybe we'll go for a kick into a, into a radium punish. Hold that. No, he dodged it. Not bad. All right. Reload this Harris. All right, he's coming in. All right. He hung out. He was looking out for the kick. Maybe he's trying to bait it out so he can get free ACS strain on me. All right, going in. Come on, bro. Push these shots into him. I should have waited before I started shooting. I was too far away. Now the Gatling gun's accuracy is off. Over here, the freaking Huxley, too. Bad hit. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. If I'm going to get stunned, just get stunned in the air. That's my best bet here. Need that Huxley back up, though. There you go. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Push these shots. We'll stun him first. We'll stun him first. There you go. Gun him down. We have enough damage. Hell yeah. Damn, bro. Hey, good fight. Good fight, legit. That build freaking, you have me on my toes, bro. That freaking build is strong as hell. I like that.
That was cool. GG, my friend. I got a crazy hustle here. It's trusty AC. I just fought this dude, right? And he freaking annihilated me, bro. I play like a scrub. He made me pay for it. <laughs> so hopefully, this one goes a little bit better. Even if I lose, hopefully it's a closer one because it was a freaking massacre before. I respect that he's always using the same AC, right? Because he is very good with it. I kind of like that. I don't think I've ever seen this dude use a different AC. <laughs> Which is dope. Okay, manual lane. I like it off the ground. Jump for the land. Oh, he got me! No, dude. Damn, all right. That hurt. That hurt a lot. I gotta remember he has assault armor too. We'll stun him here. Punish with freaking. Yep, iridium. Jump off the ground. Gonna stay off the ground here. Reload this Harris. How did hit? Wow, that still hit me! Damn, so I'm sitting there saying, how did it hit me with that? I got freaking hit anyway. Damn, bro. I thought I was in the clear. All right, all right, all right. I'm kind of getting destroyed here. <laughs> I gotta clean this up. I gotta clean. I gotta at least put up a fight, bro. This is absurd. All right, watch out for the damn air shot. All right, go ahead, pop this. Air shot gonna be coming soon. Gotta make sure I have enough freaking energy. All right, he pop, pop him in the ground. Beautiful. Now we go in. He shoots that out. Watch out for the lance. He's gonna hit me with one piece. No, I dodge it. Beautiful. I'll take it. Get stunned. Hold this. Get a nice kick in your dome piece. Ah, get him with it. Watch out. Jump off the ground. Air shot's gotta be coming soon, right? It's gotta be coming soon. Oh, he's getting ready for that lance. We'll hang back. He's too far away. He a shot. Yep. Damn, bro. What was the long freaking delay on that? Am I just messing up my timing? I think I am. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. Damn it. It's okay. Watch out for this. All armor. Overheat the Gatling gun like a scrub. We get stunned and killed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, bro. All right. Yeah, he freaking put me down a second time. Holy hell. GG, bro. This man freaking annihilating me. That the duck it, buff duck it with nice estrogen on the side with it. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty cool combo. He's probably gonna have like crazy bursts, bro. Obviously, it's not a double duck it, but you know, that estrogen kind of shows up that mid range weakness there. You got trenos too, in case you're trying, you know, float a little too far back. It seems like a pretty well balanced build, bro. I kind of like that. Right, let's see what we got here. Sure, you, bro. About to uppercut me right in the dome piece, huh? <laughs> right in the jaw. All right, rush in. Put that damage on him. Let him know. I got some ACS freaking pressure too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bink. Stun. Kick. Nice follow up. Here you go. Hold that. Yeah. All right. Hold on. What's he got for punish? Oh, he's, oh my God. He's got double trino. All right. Yeah. That hurt. That didn't feel good. <laughs> I don't like that. All right. Hold this iridium. Nice. A little bit of freaking AOE. Gets him there. All right. What do we got for punish? That stuff's on cooldown. I should have just kept shooting with the, the rifle. I think I would have been fine. All right. Pop this. Ah, get before I die. Gun him down. Yo, hit him. All right, I'll stop panicking a little bit there. I saw my shield getting low and I wasn't hitting him. <laughs> yeah, love me some Gatling gun action, bro. Radium's actually doing pretty solid too. After you get used to it for like a little while, right? And knowing how long it takes to actually activate, it's actually pretty solid. Especially on reverse joint, bro. Because you can actually like kick and uh, essentially prep that shot while you're still moving from the freaking, uh, not kick, from the quick boost rather. That hurt. That was a good freaking good move there, friend. I'll give it up. That was pretty good. All right, he's flying up. He's going back down. About to punish him with his iridium, though, as soon as we get that stun. All right, don't. I was about to overheat the gallon gun. I was about to say, and I overheated it anyway. I should have waited like a second longer before I did that. Iridium. Yep, dodge those. Okay. Pop this up. Nice freaking Huxley. Ready to rock. Gallon gun's back. Go for a kick, maybe. Oh, yeah. Reverse joint. Super range kick ski. Stun him. Stun him. How do you get the stun first? Oh, all right. We can still win it. We can still win it. Stun him, all right, here you go, Bink, hit him with that, kick, oh god, me, I thought I was gonna land that kick, bro, I knew that he was about to throw out the trenos just because the match was going towards like, the end, that was like his only chance left, but uh, I thought I could get that kick first, all right, <laughs> I should have just popped my shield, bro, that was ridiculous, I kind of asked for a loss on that one, <laughs> all right, starting off good, don't get too far away, yep, that way freaking he whips his stuff, oh, nice kick, he activates the Huxley. I'm going to pop it right back up, though. There you go. Hold this. Ah, oh, yeah. Solid damage. Get some more damage while that freaking thing's up. All right. Watch out. Watch out for the kick. All right. I thought he was going to go for a kick. That's right. We're reloading. Dash around a little bit. Try and get this uh, punish. Yeah, he's about to get stunned. All right. We'll rip through that shield dumb fast. Get this Iridium for you. Oh, yeah. Direct hit. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to pop this now before the Trinals freaking ruin me and I lose this match. For sure. <laughs> Oh, he ripped his shield dumb fast. Okay, all right, this is not over. This is not over. Get him, stun him, gun him down. Yeah, don't do anything fancy. Just end 
<laughs> Yo, good fight, bro. Like, hey, that bill is pretty freaking clean. I kind of want to try that out. Duck it, Etigen, huh? That's dope. GG. Yeah, got that Gatlin gun action. Zero scrap pile putting in work, bro. This build is a ton of fun. Now, granted, I'm very familiar with it. Obviously, you got that Gatlin gun, then high stag weapon on the offhand. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty partial to this one. I like it a lot. It's pretty sick, but it also looks cool as hell, man. Paint job came out awesome, but let me go ahead and explain to you, right, the part choice here. This one's pretty similar to Shatter, right, because it kind of used the same head, corn arms. So for the mind beta, like I said in the Shatter episode, if you haven't seen it, the original head, I think it's called the cicada head or something. It's very kind of like saucery in terms of shape and stuff. We don't really have anything like that. So look at the mine beta from the top. It kind of mimics that look a little bit. And overall, it just looks good with the build overall. I mean, it's a good substitute because we don't have anything like the original. That's pretty much what I'm saying. That's honestly why I chose it. Nothing else even comes close, at least in my eyes. I mean, maybe you can mess around mind alpha. That actually might be pretty, pretty decent too. So try that one out if you want. Now, for the core, the hell. Same reason as the Shatter episode, right? If you turn this to the side, okay, and you look at the original, the original is a very long core, but in the back, it almost looks like it's like a whole extra kind of like beefy unit back there. And that reminded me of the hell, right? And also gave me a reason to use a different core for once because we haven't used the hell much. And I feel like it works well with the build, especially when you consider the fact that you pair it with the lamb arms. Because his original arms kind of have like those pointed pauldrons type look. I feel like the lamb arms kind of have that same shape on the shoulders. But then combined with the HAL core behind it, it kind of gives the same silhouette to that build. At least I think, right? This is, this is a good AC6 representation of what that build would look like in this game, I think. That's pretty much what I was going for. Because nothing's going to be one to one, you know what I mean? Now, for the legs, Mine Beta, a lot of the old freaking Silent Line legs are very, like, bulky, boxy and stuff. Some, like, very alien looking. I feel like the Mine Beta kind of fit the look the most in terms of function and just overall shape to the original. So that's honestly why I went with it, right? I don't think the Spring Chicken fits too well, but you could rock with it. It actually doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty freaking beastly, but I sell on the Mine Beta for those reasons, right? Now, for the weapons, Original's got a Gatling gun. We got a Gatling gun. Original has a grenade rifle on the left arm. We got a grenade rifle on the left arm, okay? Now, on the back area, he's got an ammo container, right? Now, obviously, you don't got that in this game. And so, I figured I'd just try and mimic the, uh, just the look of it. I feel like the Huxley kind of fits that a little bit, especially with the right colors and stuff. But also, I could be misremembering here. I could have sworn that the original dude's core is an Exceed Orbit core, right? With the bullet ones. So I might have been thinking that too, right? Unless I'm wrong, that's why I chose the Huxley. But if not, either way, it still fits the look. Now for the Harris on the back, right? He has a linear cannon on the back. And usually I substitute that with a stun needle launcher in this game because we don't got linear cannon. However, this is, uh, you know, Oath gave me a suggestion here. He said, why not throw on the, uh, the Harris on the back stand for the linear cannon? They're both linear weapons, right? And I'm glad I did because, dude, it makes a world difference. The build got so much better. It makes sense, right? It's a linear weapon. It's it's just sick. It was a really good call. Thank you, Oath, for that one. That was an incredible suggestion. <laughs> it took the build to a whole new level. I'm super happy about that, right? So that's why I chose those weapons. Now, for the booster, I got the PO4 here. Initially, I was running this build in the 3v3, and so that's why I chose this booster, right? Because I wanted a decent speed of also being able to uh, quick boost a lot, right, during the assault boost. And the PO4 is really good at that. But I decided to leave it on for single matches as well because it just works with the build overall, right? In terms of freaking weight and all that stuff. Now, for the FCS, comfort pick. If you think I'm going to run my Gatlin gun without the Abbey, you crazy as hell. But it's my favorite FCS. And it worked good with the Harris too because that mid, uh, medium range assist. So, you know, that's why it's on. For the generator, change things up. You know, we're all rocking with that. Ming Tang and stuff like that. I figured, let's go with the Hokushi. And the Hokushi actually works really well as long as you don't redline yourself or anything like that. It's it's pretty solid overall. Hokushi's still good in comparison to Ming Tang, at least I think. So it's just to break things up a little bit. Now for the expansion, Pulse Armor over Assault Armor, mainly because this build has no way to really punish or capitalize off of an Assault Armor punish. You know what I mean? So that's honestly why Pulse Armor's here. I feel like I couldn't do anything outside of like a kick or something with the Assault Armor. So Pulse Armor for the win. Show the colors real quick. Super simple. It's just three colors, and it's all based on the pattern, right? So we'll go down to the pattern here. Here it is. You, I noticed that the black wasn't like a full true black. I was detecting some sort of brownish in this. So to do that, we got 48, 42, 39. And we got 42, 26, 45 for the purple. And then we got 73, 15, 16 for that kind of nice deep crimson looking red, right? And then the pattern itself is design 18. So that's pretty much it for the colors, right? The size on these is large. I'm pretty sure it's large across the board. You know, if not, 
kind of change it to like medium in some areas. Whatever you think looks better. You know what I mean? For the weapons, nothing really to say here, right? Standard freaking whites and grays and stuff. Maybe if you want to copy this particular color on the grenade rifle, it's 83, 79, 61, reflecting this at 24. And then on the back over here, we got this kind of pinkish red, 136, 44, 53. And I'm pretty sure the Harris is roughly the same reddish color as the body, if not a little different. So 74, 18, 19, reflecting this of six. So pretty simple color scheme, right? Where it gets difficult is in the decals, right? It's a simple thought process, but it's just very tedious. I felt like with the original pattern on the build, right? In this game, it showed way too much purple, no matter like how large you put the pattern and stuff. And so I took it upon myself to try and mimic the original. I'll throw up on screen. The original is kind of like color patterns a bit. If you look in the core in the front, right? I tried mimicking that grayish in the front with the freaking red separation and stuff. And then I just essentially took these splotches of all three colors and just laid them over each other in areas trying to match the original as best as I could do. And also mostly just to get rid of, you know, a ton of the freaking purples, right? So we got them all stretched out on the sides and everything, blocking stuff in the back. If we go over here, I think I did the back last. So maybe, yeah, you could see stretch that out all huge in the back, right? Cover some of the purples and the blacks. Pretty much what I did for every part. I went a little bit overboard on this one, okay? But I kind of like scrap pile a lot, so I want it to look freaking nice. But as you can see, it's it's all the same color patterns. Just lay it all on top of each other, right? And I'll go ahead and see if I can find that image in the image edit of exactly which pattern it was. Yeah, so it's these right here. If you go into the image editor thing and you look for that specific splotch, that's what you're looking for. Just put it the same colors as the rest of the pattern of the build and then, you know, have that. It's going to take a while if you want to recreate it as best you can, but, you know, it's worth it. You know, if you got the time for it, pretty much. That's pretty much it, dude. So, build is sick. Plays really well. I freaking love this thing. Gatling gun all day long. Definitely give it a shot. Okay, it's freaking dope. But other than that, right, I got nothing else for you guys. So I'm going to get up out of here. If you had a good time, feel free to press that like button. I greatly appreciate it. If not, no big deal. I'm not sweating it, all right? Consider subscribing, though, so you don't miss out any more historic builds because more coming. Got more S rank stuff coming. We got Dragon Ball Spark and Zero video releases now, which is pretty sick. And then also we got more Elden Ring coming, right? So there's a lot popping off in this channel, and there's going to be even more in the future. Trust me, right? But other than that, I got nothing else for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all again real soon. Please take care, everybody. Later.